we want to find the value of x such that the square root of 5 root 5 root 5 equals 125 to the power of x. So I've done a video like this before where the method I used was squaring both sides to get rid of those square roots one by one. In this video we're going to use a slightly different method but the first one would also work. In this one we're going to try converting those square roots on the left into powers. A square root is the same as the power of a half so we can start by saying that our original left hand side is equal to the square root of 5 times by root 5 times 5 to the half. So we've just replaced that last square root with 5 to the half. But now if we do 5 times 5 to the power of a half, when you multiply powers together, you add those powers. So the 1 from the 5, add the half from the 5 and a half, gives us 5 to the power of 3 over 2. We now need to square root that. So remember, square root is the power of a half. If you do a power of a power, you multiply them together. So the square root of 5 to the power of 3 over 2 is 5 to the power of 3 over 4. We've just done a half times 3 over 2. So we've now got the square root of 5 times 5 to the 3 over 4. And again, we're multiplying two numbers being raised to a power. So we're going to add those powers together. So this becomes the square root of 5 to the power of 7 over 4. If we multiply that power by a half, we've now got 5 to the power of 7 over 8. And that is the simplified version of the left-hand side of our original equation. We can now simplify the right hand side of the equation. We should have noticed that 125 is just 5 cubed. So 125 to the power of x is going to be the same as 5 cubed to the power of x. But again we've got a power of a power here so we multiply those two powers together so that is equal to 5 to the power of 3x. Well, now our original equation, the two sides are both in the form 5 to the power of something. We've got 5 to the power of 7 over 8 is equal to 5 to the power of 3x. Well, as they're both the same base, those powers must be identical to each other. So 7 eighths is equal to 3x. Dividing both sides by 3, we get a final answer that x is equal to 7 over 24. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.